Welcome back guys, Automotive Inc. here. Look down there in the corner and smash the subscribe button. It's in one of these two corners I cannot remember. Um, if you are a patron, welcome back. And at the end of the video, guys, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up. Today we're going to talk about Foreskin. Now don't say it too fast because you might be mistaken to what this is. Uh, Foreskin is an open source program that allows you to interact with your Ford uh, vehicle computers. You cannot use it to mess with the emissions control parts of these. A lot of those will be locked out. Now it does allow you to change, activate, deactivate certain modules in the vehicle. I have a video on how to get rid of that dreaded Ford hunk, the one where you have the keyless entry. You start the vehicle, you forgot something in the house or wherever you get out, you slam, shut the door and it does this loud honk in the middle of Usually for me, it's when I'm going to the gym at 3 o'clock in the morning, so it's annoying. I also did another video on installing the LED bed lights on the 2023 Ford F-150. It's no longer necessarily a plug-and-play, and so you're going to need to interact with that computer. Now, you can always go to Ford and pay them to do that. They may or may not do that for you, but what this program does, it is a free program, and I'll show you real quick where you're going to need to go, how you're going to get that free trial, um, and then the also you're going to need a laptop to do this in your computer. They do have an Android and a um, iPhone based app. I don't use it. I've never used it. I don't know how in depth it is, but you'll need a separate adapter uh, OBD to Bluetooth um, to activate that. However, they strongly encourage you on the Forescan website to pick up one of these Forescan cables. I will put a link down below where you can get it for substantially cheaper on the Zon. And what this does, this is going to plug into your laptop. Now they do offer a free program for your uh, Apple computer stuff whatever the heck they call MacBooks or whatnot. I don't even remember. Um, but this is basically going to be a walkthrough through the Windows type variation. Now, when you do get your cord, if it doesn't read, there will be separate instructions on where to go. I will briefly show you within this video on where to go. Now, again, before you go in there and start playing Frankenstein with all of these settings in your vehicle computers, I will tell you that there is a forum, and I'll show you where that's at on the Forescan website, to go in, you will have to pay for an annual membership for that. But within that forum, there are a lot of people that have already went through these certain scenarios and they'll show you how to save the original profile of your vehicle. They will show you um, how to shut certain things on and off, high idles. I mean, it's it's very vast. And because this is for scan, it also will encompass Lincoln, some Mercury, um, some Mazda products. So you'll just need to be very specific. Now, when you do get this cord also, if you get this one, it's going to work, period. Uh, but there are several other knockoffs out there. I can't guarantee that they're going to work. And frankly, they're not much cheaper than this cord, so I'm not sure uh, what the benefit would be going that direction. But that'll be a, something that you guys can do. And again, in the description below, you'll find those links. So again, what I did is I got this program on the computer, and I'm going to show you where we go and how to do it. Oh, say, okay, guys, so you're going to want to go up here and type in forescan.org. This is going to take you to the home page. You can see where they have the Apple stuff, they have the Windows stuff, and they have the Android stuff. Again, I can't guarantee how specific it's going to be and how it's going to work from that program itself. But this one is basically you can click it, follow the descriptions and instructions, and it'll take care of you there. All right, so once you get to your Forescan thing, you're going to have these links up here. Now, again, this is a program that you're, it's free in all practical purposes, but depending on how far you want to dig into your actual computer, um, I would highly support that. But uh, you going to the forum. So when you want to go to the forum, you can go here and you can see they have it in several different languages. But really to interact in the forum, you will need to upgrade to that by registering right over here. But you'll need the paid subscription to do that. Now, if we go back to the home page here, we can hit products. And basically the one thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hit whatever your um, platform is going to be. You will click it. Now again, if you have a new version of Windows, you may have to revert back to a different level when you're interacting with the cord itself in the vehicle. That's not a big deal. You're not changing the major parameters on this. But you'll need to go ahead and click this and download the uh, actual program on the computer. 
That download is going to take a matter of minutes, so not super long on downloading it actually. Um, from there, then you're going to have the program on your computer. I would go ahead and create a shortcut on your screen to do it. And then um, again, if you want to, I'll put links down below just to the two videos that I made again on the F-150 lights and also that horn honk where you guys can kind of see how the actual program interacts. Now, the biggest step here, guys, is if you want to get the paid one, the information about the extended license, that's the one you're going to have to pay for. Uh, but you can get a two-month free trial. So depending on how much you really want to change within your vehicle, um, this two-month free trial is going to cover you. And again, it's based on each time the, the program's downloaded. I've never tried to download it more than twice, so it is what it is. But when you get this extended lease program, your uh, sorry, extended license program, you're going to have access to that forum for free. And I would highly recommend that if you're going to want to keep changing it. I have seen guys out there where they're changing all kinds of parameters. You can change the screen look. You can change screen savers because your vehicle only comes with a handful of whatnot on it. And you can go in and change it. One caveat to that is, guys, I've also heard a lot of guys get in, getting into that computer and they're switching and changing and flipping and everything. And all of a sudden they start having issues. Keeping in mind, if you change anything within this computer itself, uh, it could it could be some type of clause when it comes to your warranty work. I'm not saying Ford can't revert it back, but they will know that you've been in here playing doctor. Um, so I'd keep the modifications very minimal when it comes to that. But you'll be able to have access to almost everything in the car except for uh, missions control stuff. So once you've downloaded the program, if you just try and open the program from there, it's going to be very, um, very basic when it comes to that. So if we go into the Forescan program, um, it's basically going to just look like this. It'll say down here that there's can't be a connection with the vehicle. Um, because I already have the trial set up, it says that this is waiting for connection, but all of these squares are going to be red and you're not going to have anything to do in here. So it's just to be kind of, kind of odd. Um, so you're going to need to just kind of wait for a second. So back to the home screen. Once you've downloaded the program, come back to this website and click the get free extended license link. After you do that, you will get a support page saying that your key is going to be sent to your specific email. And I will tell you, it's going to take about 20 to 30 minutes period. Always check your spam. Uh, uh, Gmail didn't spam this one for me. But if you don't get it within 30 minutes, you can go back to that same page and request it again. Now, you're probably asking me when you click it, this is what the page is going to look like here. You're going to fill out all of your information there. And then again, your hardware ID itself that the hardware ID is actually going to come. You're going to hit this little steering wheel down here and then it's going to be up here. Mine is no longer here, but there'll be three boxes here. And then that's where you're going to get your hardware ID. You're going to need to cut and paste that down into here at the very bottom. So you might be wondering where the hell am I going to get that? That's within the uh, actual program itself. Again, you'll hit the steering wheel. These boxes will be a little bit different here. So then you will uh, need to uh, just copy that. It'll say copy to clipboard. You'll copy that. That, paste that down here in this box below on the website and then you'll be able to get that activation key now after you've waited your little bit you're going to get this right here this two front two month free trial extended license agreement you're going to follow these to the t guys if you follow this instructions you'll have no issues getting to download uh, again for me i was trying to be happy clicker and just moving forward through it and um at the end of the day it just took me a little bit came back went step by step and bam got it downloaded on the vehicle in the computer now the cord itself is going to come with some extra steps so you'll go back up to your search engine bar and you're going to type in exactly what your instructions say that's going to take you to a very specific place on the actual uh forescan uh, website that'll give you the driver stuff for your OBD cord. If you get this exact cord, um, it'll have everything. It'll step by step it. Now, depending on your operating systems, your Windows systems, everything like that, those instructions that come with your cord and the instructions they give you on there will walk you through individually how you're going to plug and play into the into the vehicle. It'll also troubleshoot it depending on your operating system and your Windows. Um, you know, version, it'll actually give you the ability to go in and troubleshoot that. Once you are in, 
keeping in mind once you get into the program itself you'll have to go through each little category and area again if you're looking for those specific things that i just did just head to the video but most of the things that you want or need to change are going to be in your body control module um, that's from lighting to horn stuff windows it's going to give you a list by list thing then down at the bottom of that app when you find the area where you want You'll hit the play button. That's going to take you to the sub menus. From there, you can scroll to whatever you need. You can click into it, keeping in mind once you change it, unless you hit right at the bottom, the save will not be the same. If you do not save your original version of your Ford programming, that's going to have to go back to Ford and have them reboot everything, which would then do everything that you changed. It would shut it off and you'd have to start over. Now, the system uh, is very easy to go through. It's very definitive. And when you are looking at multiple versions that I didn't discuss on my channel, you'll go into the forum and just pay the small subscription fee, have it, and have access to it because there's probably thousands of posts where people talked about the things that they changed, the codes they changed, the numbers they changed. And again, I think by doing this, you'll also see areas where guys that change stuff said, hey, this did not work for me and I actually screwed something else up. These vehicles are very sophisticated. If it's a matter of turning on an extra cargo lamp or adding some cargo lights in the bed or turning off that honk or whatever, um, those are certain things that you shouldn't have to worry about. Now, if you keep track of also what you change, you can go back later, plug the OBD in, set the computer on the seat and go back and disable or enable the things that you shut on or off. So I hope that this kind of helped guys help kind of explain what Ford Ford Scan is. Again, it's not for your Chevy. It's not for the Jimmy. It's not for the Honda. It's not for anything else. It's literally just for Ford. So again, guys, I appreciate you being here. And again, there are more in-depth tutorials, but keep in mind, a lot of those tutorials are specifically talking about the vehicle that they're working on. So that's where that forum kind of comes into play and will definitely help you out. But there's nothing to say that you can't download the program and Enter into your interface. As long as you don't hit the right button, nothing will change. You're not going to mess anything up from there, but you can kind of go through the thousands of things that you can kind of flip, manipulate, change, enable, or disable. And uh, I think that that's pretty neat. Now, always try to plug and play your stuff first. If you're adding an accessory, try and plug it in to see if it works. If it does, you probably won't need this program. But keeping in mind, if you're going to get in there and you're not a you know, computer guru, uh, you do not want to mess this thing up because again, this might be something where Ford says, well, we can see that somebody's manipulated it that takes it out of warranty and that can be very, very bad. So just be really careful as to what you're doing and reach out to the other people that are on this forum and see if they can help you answer your questions before you actually hit right. Um, and, and, and rewrite some of your computer stuff. All right, guys, till we see you on the next one. Appreciate you being here.